Yeah, what is up, you guys? This is Godson, and welcome back to Staking Academy, where we are going to look at the new DPR miner, the Genesis miner from the Deeper Network. And guys, this just came in the mail. This is the tier one uh, gold Genesis miner that uh, really, it was such a pain to get this thing. I actually, you know, got into tier one and then dropped out because of so many people that were trying to get this thing. Uh, this thing is a beast. I almost, you know, mistakenly thought it was a Dodge coin miner just by looking at the D. I'm pretty sure a lot of people were, you know, having that mistake. But yeah, just a long story short, had a terrible time trying to get this gold Genesis miner. This thing is really heavy. It feels like a gold brick. And, uh, you know, I'm just showing off the ports here. You got the C port, USB, Ethernet connection a fan this thing is awesome and of course there's some writings on the bottom of it and uh yeah so i'm in today's episode i'm gonna try and tell you guys um show you the unboxing and walk through setup how you can get started with this it's actually very easy anyone could do it the hard thing about this is once you have it connected then getting into the um inside the Atom OS and configuring that could be a little difficult. So hopefully this is going to be a very, very easy explanation. We're going to configure this and make it very simple uh, because a lot of people, including myself, once you set it up, once you get it started, then you have a little bit of difficulty with, you know, for, for example, the uh, YouTube wasn't working for me, but the um everything else was i could get the dpn and uh yeah just certain things like that so i'm gonna try and you know walk you through this hopefully uh you won't have too much difficulty but if you do put it in the comment box below if you have any problems i'll try and respond to you and we'll figure this out together so as you guys can see this is the gold deeper network genesis miner this thing is a massive beast as far as like mining dpr and uh, offering the basically the the top uh, services that you know it can give you. It's better than the nano, the minis, all those things. So um, let's go ahead and finish this up. We've got uh, the way it looks very nice. If it, it looks, it feels just like a gold brick. The weight, I would say, this is like <laughs> maybe three to five pounds. Uh, it's pretty heavy. Now, I do have a silver miner, and I didn't really see any, feel any difference with the weight. So maybe, you know, there is some talk that the gold one is a little heavier than the silver. I can't really confirm that because it felt like the same to me, but maybe that's different how whoever picks it up. Maybe just the, the, the fact that it's gold, you know, makes it feel heavier. So the, the, the weight is heavy. Uh, it has the ether port on both sides, so like uh, if you want to connect it from the back of your ether port to your router, you could do that. It comes with a plug-in C port uh, charger with an ether cable, so you do have one ether cable and one charge port uh, for plugging it into the wall. So uh, the other ether cable, you're going to have to provide that yourself. If you have one that's already connected to your router, then you could do it that way. When you open the box, there's some instructions there that you can follow. So make sure you follow that if you're having difficulty connecting it. But it's so simple. I didn't really have to do anything. You just plug it in, put in both ether cables, one to your router and one to the wall. <laughs> you know where it's coming from. It's basically like it's acting as a middleman. Now, this is a C port. I actually have this connection for some of my Samsung phones, so I'm familiar with this. That goes to, that turns on the Genesis Miner. So you want to make sure you plug that in. Now, uh, as soon as you plug it in, it should be blinking red. And then after a while, if you connect it properly, then it should start doing a slow green blinking. If it's blinking fast, you might have problems with it because I've talked to people that are not able to connect if it's blinking too fast. So a slow green blink with a yellow light that pops up, that's how you know you've got it connected and it's working. Okay, so to get to the Atom OS website or server, you're going to type in 34.34.34.34. .34 .34. And we're introduced to our web browser here. This is what it looks like. So let's just go it from the top uh, where we're at dashboard. This is where you're going to see 
your connections. You can see that uh, I'm transmitting over here. I believe people are transmitting to me. I'm connected to, I believe, Poland. I'm trying to get somewhere in Europe. So you can see these blue lines. I believe these are people coming to you and you going out to them. Uh, let's see, system just gives you the rundown of, uh, you know, how many, you know, per hour usage here basically means you're working. Uh, this is important, the software version. When you first plug it in, you're going to have a different number than this. This is the updated version. So you're going to have to wait, I believe, about maybe an maybe 30 minutes to an hour, and it should automatically update. If you have this uh, checked over here, it should say auto update. You want that to be checked, and then it should automatically update for you. And it should be 1.1.0.rel. That's the newest version that you want. So make sure you have that and you are good to go. Traffic, you can see we have traffic coming in and out. Log, not really sure, but I believe this is just, uh, you know, all the blocks. <laughs> They're blocking Google. They're blocking some analytics, things of that nature. Uh, if you go down to DPN, we will see the mode. We have it disabled, so we want it to be... Um, this, is, this is important. If you want to disable it, you can, but uh, I believe if you want... To, for everything to be using the v, a DPN that you're you know connected to whatever country then I would have it here at Poland we'll do Poland and everything in my house including my Wi-Fi will now be connected to the uh, European uh, IP address that we have there smart route I unchecked that because you know my YouTube wasn't working but uh, yeah you can have smart route or full full route those are the difference between the two smart route you just basically connecting the certain certain things to the the ip address that you want but this is just a full route so i'm doing full for myself uh tunnel this is where you can add countries if you want to add for example like let's say the caribbean and then you select one oh i want barbados let's add that and then you know it'll be occupied right here it takes a little bit for the ip to pop up but once it turns blue, you can go ahead and switch over. And these are just like the number of active, active tunnel numbers that you can connect from in Netherlands, the country, the region, the IP address. And you can switch to those. Uh, routing. You have the domain config. You can uh, IP config it. The query. Security. Let's see what we have here in security. I have it there dashboard and web filter this is basically showing you all the block inquiries what you are blocking if you want to block you know bad stuff over here you can black all of that just giving you a rundown and oh dang we did block some uh, uh user config yep you can set that up add filters so this is the thing if your youtube is not working when you set it up you want to uncheck this because my YouTube wasn't working because it was trying to block ads and it was just blocking all of YouTube. So uncheck that if your YouTube isn't working. So this is the one thing that I'm concerned about because I'm like, my balance is zero, but I have a 200 credit score. So I'm like connected, but it's just weird. It's not really working. Uh, so maybe I'll just do that later. Wallet balance transaction. Okay, so yeah, we're good to go. We've got the balance. Let's see here. Mining. I'd have to talk to them about this because I haven't really figured this one out. The transaction here. I believe this just deals with uh, mining, micropayments. Yeah, so just deals with the mining side. Share config. And that's pretty much the rundown of the Atom OS uh, dashboard here. So hopefully that helps you guys out if you're new and you want to set it up. Make sure you just, you know, connect to the device that you want or the IP address, the country that you want to make sure you uncheck boxes if it's not working well. Make sure that the green light is blinking, a slow, solid blink that ensures that you are connected properly. And there you go, guys. So hopefully enjoy. That is the unboxing uh, of the Gold Genesis Miner. Really happy that I got it. And thank you guys so much for watching. This is Godson, and I will see you on the next one. Godson out.